Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebro. So today in this video, I will be sharing about the best and the free anti-detect browser in 2023 for creating multiple social account. So if you're not aware of anti-detect, what exactly it is. So let me quickly give you a quick overview. Anti-detect browser are used to run multiple social account like Discord, Facebook, Instagram, any kind of ad account like Google ad or any kind of Facebook ad or if you want to run any kind of crypto account or if you are affiliate marketer then you can use it to run multiple accounts so in simple word i can say that on one real computer you can create multiple social account with different device information okay so let's quickly get started first what you will have to do you need to come to this website octo browser this is anti detect browser for multi accounting i have already tested this it works absolutely perfect and there is a lots of feature that is very easy to use with very easy interface so once you come up here you can click on create octo browser account then you can enter your email your password if you have any kind of telegram account then you can also enter that information then click on create account and then it will ask you where exactly you want to download so you can download on your windows on your mac machine or even on the linux so once it's been downloaded you have to run the downloaded file install on a computer and once it will be installed you will be getting a very simple interface like this now here first what you can do in order to activate the five days free subscription you can click on the profile picture at the right and top then click on billing then click on i have a promo code and here you can type my promo code that is seb and once you click on check your promo code will be activated and the free five day subscription will be added okay now let's talk about that how exactly you have to use how you need to create the profile, how you need to add the proxies and how you need to add the template. Okay, so let's start with the profile option. If I click on the profile, now here you can create up to 350 profile. So let's quickly see that how you have to create. On the right in top, you will find the create profile option. So you have to click on it. Now here at the very top, it will ask you to select the template. So that we will discuss in the next step. So now in the profile name you can create any kind of profile depending that what kind of work you are going to do that it can remind you that for what purpose this profile has been created okay so as of now i'm going to show you about the discord social account so if i want to create multiple discord account so what i can do i can type here discord one and then i can type a short description whatever i want to as of now i can just leave it then you get some kind of tag here so if you want to edit it you can edit the tag and if you want to pick any one of them you can simply click on it then you have the operating system so you want to create this profile as a windows user or a mac user so you can select it so let's make this one mac only then it says start pages so if you want to add any kind of pages while starting the browser then you can add that page then you have the bookmark option if you want to add any kind of bookmark you can add it then from the left hand menu option if I click on the general, so this is the user agent, the screen resolution. If you want to make any changes, you can make it font. You can keep as it is. So here you don't have to make any changes. Then you have to come to the hardware section. The CPU code has been selected to four. And if you want to increase or decrease it, then you can do it. Then you have the memory. So let's take this one as four gigabyte. And in the renderer, if you want to uh, change the processor information like you can go with the Intel you can go with the AMD so let's make this one as AMD then the hardware noise you can change it if you want to and then you get the connection option so here you can add the proxy so that I will explain you in the proxies explanation then you have the cookies then you have the storage so if you want to add any cookies then you can simply uh, just save the file drag it over here or you can simply click on it and select the location okay then you have the storages option you don't have to do much here extension if you want to add any kind of extension then you can do that okay so let's go with the profile make it simple then i will click on create profile okay so one profile has been successfully created now so let me quickly make few more profile and show you that how exactly it work Okay, so finally I have created three profile to show you as a demonstration. So Discord 1, Discord 2, Discord 3. These are the three profile I have created. 
two with the Windows users and one with the Mac OS. Okay, now once you have created, you can also edit it. So on the very right of it, you get the three dot option. Click on it. Then from here, you can click on edit profile. And you can make the changes if you want to. Then you get many other options. Like if you click on the three dot, you can clone it if you want to. If you want to transfer, you can transfer it. And if you want to export it, then you can export it. Okay, now let's move with the proxy one. So click on the proxies. So simply what you will have to do, you need to click on add proxy. Give the title name, host information, the port information, login password. And then you have to click on confirm. And once it will be added, it will be displayed in the proxy list. Okay, so once you have added, you can easily use in the profile section. So if I again go back to the profile and edit my profile, then I go to the connection. So now here in the proxy, I can click on it and select the proxy from here. Then I have to click on save. So you can see the proxy has been added to this profile. So let me add one more proxy to this user. So again, I click on the three dot edit profile connections. And here I choose proxy two. So I will select it, then click on save. So you can see that proxy one, proxy two has been added. Similarly, depending how many profile you have created, if you want to use the proxy, you will have to create it. You have to select the proxy for that particular profile. Okay, so now let's talk about the template. So if you want to create any pro particular profile as a template, so you don't have to manually select and choose all the option. Then what you can do, you can click on create template. Then give a template name, whatever you want to. Click on profile name. If you want to give any kind of profile name, then you can give it. Then you can choose all the information about this template. Like this template should be for Mac OS. Then I will select it. Then in the hardware, uh, let's say in the memory, I want to keep this to 12 gigabyte. Then I can select it. So choose all the information about this template. Then finally click on create template. And this template will be created. Now simply you will have to make it active. So enable this option. And the next time when you go back to the profile, and you create a profile on the very top in the template section, you will find that particular template. So if you select it and click on create profile, all that information will be automatically loaded that you selected while creating that particular template. So let me show you if I go into the settings and pro edit the profile, I selected the Mac operating system. So it's showing me Mac. In the memory, I selected 12 gigabyte of RAM, so it automatically detected 12 gigabyte. So this is how it works, how you can simply and easily create the profile, proxies and template. Now let's see that how exactly it works. So if I go and click on the profile and if I start all these three uh, Discord profile that we created, so I will have to simply click on start. OK, so now we have the three browser. And these all three browser are with a different devices name, different information name, different IP. Okay, so let's say if you want to run multiple Discord account, then you can easily run it by using different Octo browser. Okay, so what you will have to do, you need to click on your browser search, type Discord, click on the Discord link, then click on login, do the same with the next one, open Discord, in the next one also discord and now you can see that we have three different discord login screen now this can be more than three three ten twenty thirty hundred depending that how many profile you want to create okay so all these information of all the different profile will be different so that it should not be detected and the best part of the anti-detect browser is that you are running all of them from one single computer okay similarly not only with the discord this can be with any kind of social account like Instagram, Facebook, or if you want to run multiple Google ad account, then you can open the Google ad on a different Octo browser profile with different user information. So this is how exactly it works. And now you might have a question in your mind that you will be using this anti-detect browser. So can you get banned for using different kind of or multiple account on one single computer? So the answer is no, because all these different profile will have different IP address and the different computer information like different Mac address, different operating system information and the other hardware information. 
and i have already evaluated the services of octo browser it works perfectly fine i am already running four to five google ad account without any kind of problem so that's all guys for today hopefully you will enjoy this video and if you're looking one of the best in the free anti-detect browser then you must go with octo browser right now use my promo code and enjoy anti-detect browsing and i see you in the next video Bye bye